the answer right there because I honest I didn't see it but isn't it to drive in price and trying to get people out of the game like the retail people you know up and then back and then up and then back and kind of thing you've been studying Tony let's go slowly but surely inch by inch Bingo, bingo, bingo. Yes, it's meant for trap volume, guys. So trap volume, all right? That's what, that's, that's what the point of the M's and the W's are when it comes specifically to the flags. They are looking to trap volume. So if you guys can read, I, I know you can read, but uh, let me read it for you. So cool. <clears throat> Traders are induced into long positions in this region, right? So when you see a graph go up, you're induced to take a long position, right? Yeah, cool. Awesome. So everybody knows after a, a spike up, it drops down. So some traders take short positions on that drop down, right? So you got a mix of both just on this one move right here. Pretend this isn't even here. You got long and you got short. So you got people going two ways, right? Oh, but check this out. It's reversing. It's going right back long. So people are taking long positions again. So those people that took shorts going down, they get stopped out right here, right? Because it reverses on them. They get stopped, stopped out. And then, you know, others might be taking long positions, right? They see this thinking, okay, boom, boom. They see it go up. Others take long positions. Woo, woo, thinking it's gonna go up, 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 but it gets cut short, right? And it goes right back down. So this is, you see the trap. It's like one of these things. You ever been between a wall that just kind of just closes? You ever seen a cartoon where it's like, it's like right when it bone crushes you? They're, they're trying to bone crush you. They're trying to bone crush you guys. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to take a position and then phew, little by little, they're gonna shrink it on you. That's the most genius move ever. If you truly, truly, truly think about it, it's the most genius move ever right because you got people going both ways right here but you're not promising anything to anyone <laughs> you're literally just like all right guys let's go you now that i got all your money i'm gonna go either up or i'm gonna go down but you don't know which way it's gonna go cool moving on the accumulation phase as you guys can see right here right that is the accumulation phase so it starts off, you know, kind of like a little bit, boom, 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 boom. And it just gets getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And these are the stops, right? Bam, get stopped out or, you know, some, some take TPs, but that's what it is. It's like a little zone, right? They just play games with you. It's trap volume. They keep you in that zone. They keep you trapped, right? Of course. So when you see a drop down, whew, whoops so this right here it's saying it's going down it's going down it's going deep oh trap it real quick let's get some volume pew 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 deep. pew 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 it just reversed it on you you guys see that it's kind of like a little game right think about it like a little game it's always fun if you think about it like that it's gonna be fun cool um so if you understand this can you please uh put a one on the chat if you don't, put a two, please. Awesome. Anybody else out there? Did I lose you already? Bam. Okay, cool. Donald, all right, sweet. What about you, Barry? Uh, Tony? You, do you understand it or you, you get it, right? Cool. <clears throat> Beautiful. One I get minute. it. I just, I just can't type right now, but I get it. I see where you're going. Okay, bad. Beautiful. Awesome. 1.5, this, is this usually Asian range? Okay, cool. So thank you for reminding me. Um, so right now I'm gonna tell you just the principle of what it is, and I'm gonna tell you the best place to use it. You can use it, you can use this, the flags, you'll see it throughout almost any pair, any trade. Uh, but one thing that's very special about crypto is that you always see flags. You're always gonna see flags in crypto. So what, I, what I'm gonna highlight today, guys, is I'm gonna show you how to trade crypto right i'm not going to show you how to you know i mean i'm not i'm not a genius i'm not a pro at trading crypto however if you're trading crypto 
the flags is what the best should I say strategy is if you're gonna, I don't know how well market maker theory works with crypto. I, I wouldn't trust it, honestly. <clears throat> okay, beautiful, moving on. All right, look at this. All right, so what do you notice here? See the peak is low, right? <clears throat> but then you see, awesome, cool, we got more people. All right, so what do you guys see here? What do you guys see here? Somebody, anybody? Can you be more specific? Sure, on the left-hand side. What, 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 what are your observations? Just, you know, just talk. Not well, looking really. Would that straight line be like the accumulation? It's the support and resistance, the support line, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you notice anything about like the pattern or how it's gradually just kind of like stopping short of the, the one right before it? Is that supposed to be like a fake out? So what this is, right, is, all right, cool. They drop it right here, boom. They gradually just keeps stopping. It keeps stopping, but in incline. <clears throat> it's kind of like an incline version of it, right? You guys see how, how the next one stops before this one and this one doesn't never, they just never pass each other. Okay, so would it be going up like the zones, like the three mm -hmm. zone thing? Yeah, yeah, you can call it an ascending wedge. That's 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 the right way to call it. It's ascending, right? An ascending wedge. So what this is for, guys? So just imagine this, right? Why the question here is why isn't number why isn't number two going past number one, and why isn't number one going past the peak low? How come it's not breaking that? Uh -huh. You got the support line there, but how come that's the support? How come it's not breaking that? Why? People what, are selling. What would happen if they did break it? Remember the trap wedge? Remember the accumulation? Right? What would happen if they, if, if they didn't keep following that sequence? Think about it. Think about it. People Let's, would take profits. People would, uh, their trap wouldn't work. Bam. Exactly. The, the opposite of what they want to happen would happen. There's no trap. You're yeah. literally releasing traders. You see, if, if, you're mar if you were to mark a flagpole, obviously it'd look like that. And then you'd have another one like that, right? So where would people be putting their stop losses in this instance? I'm trying to visualize it. Sure. So, I mean, de it depends on where you, where you take the trade and what you saw, you know, I mean, like <clears throat> some people didn't even see the wedge coming. So they had a previous stop loss put somewhere. Um, but if you're going to trade it, we're going to, we're going to go over that um, here coming up soon. Right. So we're, we'll go over the stop loss here in a second, but you want to be able to identify when the flags are coming. You need to identify it because if you don't see it, it it's going to be hard to trade it. And then once you start seeing a pattern, you already know what it's gonna do. It's inevitable, it's, you already know what it's gonna do. So that's when you use it to, you know, to your leverage and then you trade, right? So what I'm saying here is that uh, if one passed over here, if it, just, it, just, it would just break price, right? It would take people, it would, it would do the take profits and it, it just wouldn't trap people. Remember, I'm talking about that wall, it just collapses, right? Because up here, if it's up here, it's not breaking it either. It's just kind of just like, it goes, it just goes like this. Ooh, up, and it just gets smaller and smaller. That's why you see that incline. Do I make sense or am I just, or does anybody need any more explanation? Put a one if it makes sense. Put a two if, I, if, if you're not getting it yet, please. 1.5, okay. So you kind of get it? Cool. Maybe I'll show you another example here. The next one coming up. <clears throat> okay, you get it, Donald. Beautiful. Ira, can we um can we like emulate this into real life, let's say? Like, can we look no. at so you're you're saying this would uh apply to crypto. So like can we look at a Bitcoin chart of today? We would will. you pull that up at some point and then we I can will. actually look at because like i look at all these candlesticks on the side i just have a hard time 
Sure. Like seeing them in like actual real time. Maybe this trips me out. Maybe that'll make more more sense for you. Yeah, I see that a bit more. Yeah, but I mean, I use candles as well. But it's just, I just seem to like, I just need repetition. You know what I mean? I just need sure. repetition of like actually being able to see it in real time charts. We will absolutely. We definitely will. Actually, that's what that's what we're gonna do here in a, in, in a second. Okay. As far as this goes, just so you know what we're looking at. Boom. This is this is what it is. It's a little blurry, but look at that. You see how there's that ascending support line right there. <laughs> which is the same on this slide right here. It's an ascending support line. Cool. And then you see how they just trap the volume, right? You see how they just kind of just consolidate, right? Boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom, right? That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you from, from big old movements to smaller movements and they're trapping you because all the stop losses and take profits are right up here and down here, but they're not gonna let you hit them. Uh, okay, I see what you're saying now. You know what I mean? They don't want you to get that money. So they're trying to trap you so you don't. And then what they're going to do is depending on where the most money is, that's going to decide whether they're going to break out down or up. So this is, check this out. Think of it like this, right? This is the accumulation phase, right? We're going to see who's going to put more longs or who's going to put more shorts. If more people are putting in uh, longs, right? Thinking it's going to go up where are their stop losses down here. So when they get to the end of the tunnel, where do you think they're going to go? What are they trying to do? Hit the what? Take profits. Take the stop loss. Yeah. They're going to hit the stops. Yeah. Stop loss. So this, they're assessing this, right? They're seeing what the hell is going on. All right, cool. What are these people doing? Oh, everybody thinks it's going to go up, right? Okay. So if the majority thinks it's going to go up, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go down. That is the point of the flag. Genius. That is exactly what they're doing. Boom. Go for it, Justin. Absolutely. Awesome stuff so far, guys. Um, uh, sorry, I was taking a shower. So I, I was listening. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, flags and, and these kind of patterns are some of the best. Um, I trade them. Um, one thing you do want to look for, as you notice on the left part of where uh, I is the trap highs, you know, the three traps, um, you know, they could have even added a third one on the bottom for a trap low, but normally like how the picture looks on the right hand side, you know, you're looking for those three point touches on top and bottom. And then essentially on the fourth, normally, you know, you're going to look for that breakout um, or continuation of the trend. So I just want to add that real quick. Mm -hmm. absolutely <clears throat> so cool just to just to review it guys boom once they start the flag you'll notice it because the volume starts to get smaller and smaller and smaller we're about to look at a live chart right here now it just depends on who where the money is that's where they're gonna go that's it so if in that phase more people decide to go short so everybody thinks it's gonna drop guess where they're gonna go they're gonna go this way because it's all about the money, all right? So cool. Um, drop a one if you get it. Drop a two if you don't. Beautiful, beautiful. Tilt that 0.5 off. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Boom, chakalaka. All right, cool. Uh, I'm not going to go over this, guys. Just uh, just so you know, these are accumulation phases right here. Boom, boom. You're going to see them quite often. No, and, sorry, Ira. What's so? Where in this does uh the term flag apply to again? Oh, uh, here, like this right here. That's a flag because it's like like a flag shape. Like the biggest like flag part pole. Of belly on the left, <laughs> like that would be yeah. like Ira. Take your cursor from the highest part to the lowest part and just like kind of draw a straight line all the way down past the. That's the flag. Right. And then, what do you do exactly when you see that again? I'm, I'm the worst at arts and crafts. Yeah, sorry, I didn't put you on a spot there. <laughs> you go go to the next green Ira. You, you can show them. Oh, there you go. You Beautiful. Guys <laughs> one. Gotcha. No, wait, the other one. Where'd you go with it? Yeah. So you can see um oh so like on the left side, right? They got the I'm just gonna go left to right, guys. So that, you know, like you said, that's the um accumulation phase. Boom, then it drops down, 
you can label that as a flag. And then same thing when it goes up, you know, sometimes the flags will, will, will be a little angled, um, just called a different kind of flag. If you guys are ever like thinking you see this, I, I still do this, um, you know, type it in Google, you know, correlate your, 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 you know, um, I guess you could say your, your visuals, your drawings on the charts of your pattern of the flag and see how much it correlates and, and see how it plays out. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a good way to build some extra confidence in, in seeing these patterns. Like, you know, eventually you guys will get so good. You just look at a screen, boom. Or you look at a chart, boom. You see a flat pattern about to form. Okay, we're going to watch that. We're going to set a reminder, you know, things like that. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Can we move on to the uh, trading view? Everybody ready for that? Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's do it. All right. Cool. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Cool. <clears throat> all right so look 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 what we got here we got here a potential little flag all right cool let's go ahead and stretch this out oh oh what do you see you guys right here on the 15 minute chart you could do five that's completely fine what do you guys see right here oh 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 bam looks like a flag looks like a flag to me you know what I mean? If I could, whatever you're, I don't know. I'll just do that. Looks like an M too. Mm hmm. But the M's are a little bit different when trading Bitcoin. No, I know. I was just saying. Okay. Yeah. It does look like an M. What is that? Oh boy. We got ourselves a flag. We got ourselves a flag. Cool. So what exactly is the flag there? The the bullish, like the, the bullish candles? So the flag is right. just, well, the shape of the pattern, really. Just the shape of, of what you're seeing. You see, you like see the, those bullish candles, those ascending bullish candles. Yeah, not even that. It's just like, you know what a flag looks like? So just like, you know. Oh, so that's the pole. That's the pole and that's the flag. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's a breakout pattern. Just to, yeah, yeah, it's a breakout right. pattern and then like consolidation. Yeah, like one of those little, one of these little fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we call okay. the flag. You know what I mean? So, like Everest, like a Nepalese flag. Correct, correct. Oh, in, the, flag. in Nepal on top, of, <laughs> on top of Everest. So, this right here, you can call it a pennant, right? Um, flag, mm -hmm. pennant, that's, that's, it's, it's kind of the same thing. <clears throat> So what you wanna do is you wanna establish the cleanest trend line, boom. The cleanest line that you can, right? Um, I would say crypto is the best for trading flags, right? So if you guys wanna trade over the weekends, you wanna trade some crypto, I've been trading a lot of flags lately and it's been a lot of fun actually. Um, you know, this is the best way to scalp. So if you wanna scalp, I would highly recommend scalp. Um, now, here's the trick though, right? We want, to, we want to scalp using some pending orders, right? So we want to scalp just kind of like using our, our um, buy stops or sell stops. So can somebody in the chat please, or everybody, um, you know, answer this for me. If you have never used a buy stop or a sell stop, please put a... Uh, I'll mix it up. Put a three. If you've never used a buy stop or a sell stop before. Yeah, there you go. Take it to the extreme. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. If you have used a buy stop or a sell stop, uh, please put a seven. If you have. Cool. And I'll be honest, today was my first day. Today was my first day using a buy stop. So I just didn't know. I never need, I never thought I needed it, you know. But check this out. <clears throat> Here's the most beautiful thing about what we're, we're about to discover right here. And, and it's so beautiful. Like, I think if we hit it on the head, dude, we this can be probably one of the easier ways of, of, of trading, right? Because um, you know you can trade different styles. If you trade the flags, it, it could be a lot of fun, especially when you know what you're doing. So awesome! Here's what we're gonna do, right? When trading the flags, cool. 
let's see. We're gonna use the Fibonacci, okay? So hopefully you, 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 you see what we're doing here, okay? So we're gonna use the Fibonacci. Let's just say that we are trading right here. Why do we want to use the Fibonacci? What's the Fibonacci good for? Can anybody answer that? Fibonacci is to what's good? What, what's see the patterns like? Um, yeah, patterns. No. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what's the point of a Fibonacci? You're putting out like the 68.2 line and then you're trying to I don't really know but I, say, I know there's a, it's a predictive technical indicator used to forecast possible future exchange rate levels okay cool uh, in English <laughs> <laughs> key levels entries stop losses yeah boy so let me go ahead and uh, put use a fib here right so here's what a Fibonacci does. To make it short and simple, <clears throat> um, let me see. Let me find the fucker. You all know I'm the worst when it comes to these shit. There you go. It's right here. Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracement. Cool. All right. So what the Fib does, right, is it, it, there's like this magical, like, it, you guys remember those magical numbers played in, in the market, the magic number three, right? Magic number three. Oh, there's three pushes to the high. There's, you know, three, you know, swipes to the low. Cool. Well, Fibonacci is another type of like conspiracy. You know what I mean? It just kind of just goes right there. Just, oh, you know, it's one of those things, right? So what the Fibonacci does is that it helps you uh, understand where the level is likely to drop right? Uh, there's a higher chance that the level is going to drop to the 618, right? So here, boom, Let's see if you can see this shit. There we go. So what I did was I started it from the low point to the high point. So from down here to right up here, okay? So the 618 is right there. And I'm probably gonna have to, you know, go over this a couple times just so everybody's caught up because I know when you start seeing things on the screens, you're like, oh my God, oh, because I was, you know, like, oh shit, I lost it. Well, I give up, you know, you know, it's kind of how I was when I first started attending calls. <clears throat> Let's, no, no, no. Oh, come on. I'm crying out loud. Okay, cool. Is this more clear? <clears throat> okay, cool. So I put it, down here right that's where i started it and i traced it right up here right so that's where i cut it off and that's where that's where the value of one is and that's where the value of zero is okay zero and then one zero one zero one right cool from here to that point from point a to point b right just think of that it's point a point b or the other way around point a point b point a point b you guys get that Point A right here, point B. I'm using, mm -hmm. I'm using this right here, beautiful, cool. So, so like I did, I stretched it. From, yeah, I stretched it from point A to point B, that's it. Now what you wanna do is find where it says 618, it's right there. Because the price is most likely to drop to the 618 zone. And guess what? It did. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Like, the press. <laughs> you know what I mean? It did, right? And that's usually the case, guys. We can we can you know we can find other things, you know, like just to keep short, but boom. So now that you know this, when you see when you see a, a low point and then you see a high point. Okay. Now in that very next candle, if you see any sort of retracement right there, right? If you see that it closes anywhere below that top candle, right? If you see that it just, you see how it just slightly closes. Let me see if I can make it bigger. There you go. That might help. Cool. That does help. Beautiful. So you guys see how that candle just closes slightly underneath that? 
that's when you know you're it's ready for a retracement when it when it when it's gonna it, it's gonna it's gonna drop okay so when you see that when the candle closes right when you have to be when the candle closes when the candle closes understand that that is your cue to go ahead and leverage and trade on the 618 because the chances are it's going to start going down to the 618 at that point can you say that one more time ira absolutely and i said that i was going to say this a few times just because it's you know that's it takes me probably like 10 times you know i never get anything on the first time that's just me but cool so to start from scratch, I pulled the, the fib from point A to point B, okay? Let's just pretend this stuff wasn't here. Let's, let's, uh, I know that there's a way to fucking do it, but whatever. <clears throat> point A to point B, right? Cool. Now, what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for a candle to close underneath, underneath that high one, right? So if this candle closes underneath the high candle, I'm in, but I gotta wait for this candle to close because it has to close anywhere underneath because that's telling me that it's time for a retracement. I'll say it again, boom. I see this candle, boom, right? Um, actually, uh, does anybody know how to kind of like rewind this thing? Like just to take away a few candles? I know that there's a way. No, but you could put like, you could draw a rectangle or something over the ones that you want us to pretend like don't exist for a second. A rectangle. Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, there, there you go. Okay, cool. So I pulled it from here to here. Awesome. Great. The next candle after this high point, right, is lower than this one. Boom. So that's how I know it's time to take action. It's good time for a retrace. It's time. So that's when I'm going to start my trade. Okay. That's when I'm going to look to trade. Now, I know that the 618 is down here. So I know that the candle is gonna come at least hit that. So what I wanna do is I wanna put a sell stop right here because I want it to go straight through that price and then break through my take profit and keep going. Now, I know that confused somebody because I said the word price, right? Now you're like, oh, shit, what do I start thinking? Where, where, where do I think from now? Now you said the word price. God damn it. I don't get it. You know? Cool. Uh, I'm just thinking the way I would think, all right? So this might not be the case for you guys, but I don't know. I just threw a curveball in there. But look at this, right? So 618, boom. Candle closes right there. I know it's going to be right here. Right, I at least know it's gonna hit that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple trades in, bam, right? Candle close right there. Why not put a trade right there, right? This is, this is where the sell stop comes in, right? Boom. Now, what a sell stop means is you are, how can I explain this the best? I'm gonna pull up the definition and then I'm gonna make sense of it. Forex sell stop. Cool. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. It's a trade order from um, a trader to a broker asking that a trade be executed in the best possible price. Correct. Once the price gets to. So you're basically telling that, hey, when it hits this price, activate my trade. That's basically what you're saying. If it doesn't hit that price, it's not gonna activate your trade. I'll yeah. give you a live example, all right? Cool. Um, so it's saying basically this, it's like, see that line right there? Cool. Let's just say that that's, that's the price I wanted to activate, right? Let, we're up here right now, cool, this stuff hasn't happened. Uh, let's just say that I put an order, right? A pending order. That's what it's called. I'm telling the broker, hey, dude, listen, come here for a second. I got to talk to you. If the graph hits that line, right? I'm going to put a trade, right? That, that's the price. If the candles hit that, I want you to activate my trade. All right? 
if it doesn't hit that, that's fine. No harm, no foul. I don't lose out anything. It's not a, it's not a risk. I don't, the trade doesn't activate, therefore I don't lose. I'm cool, right? But if it does hit that price, it's game time, all right? I want you to start my trade. Cool. Now, I'm going to put my activation price right here, right? And then I'm going to put my take profit right there. Because I know that once the price hits that activation line, based off the 618, it's going to go all the way down to 618. And I'm just going to put my take profit right before it hits the 618. So I could just go straight through with profit. Literally, this is just straight through profit. Put a one in the chat if you get it. Oh, Barry, hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Donald, you get it. Let's go. I'm going to explain it one more time, all right? In the most G way possible. I just have one question for you. What's up, dog? How do you know that that green one is for your line up top there for the flag? This one? How do you know that's going to be the last green one and it's going to start turning red? Say that again. How do you know that that green one on the very top? How do you know it's not going to keep going up? I'm waiting for it to close. So once that green one closes, the next one will be the one that you decide on? No. Your flag? So, so I'm waiting for this this to close, and I'm waiting for yep. this to close. And if this closes oh, okay. underneath this, that's telling me that it's going to start going south. Okay. So, yeah, I got to make sure that this closes uh, underneath. So those two have to close. Then if this then. closes above, I'm not I'm, – I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I ain't putting no trade in. But at the same yeah, time, okay. I know that it, it ain't no real flag because it'll be pushing past the flag pattern. You know what I mean? So that's a confirmation right there. So yeah. start, I'm not saying that you can't have a wick up here. You know what I mean? You could. Yeah. But like, okay. if, if the price starts to close anywhere above this right here, this ain't no real flag. Right? Okay. Like if it closes up here or something like that, like, it just don't make sense. You know? Right? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna say it one more time, guys. This is this is a sell stop that I'm talking about. Buy stop is just the opposite, but um, sells. Okay, cool. Actually, you know what? Check this out. I'm gonna use that live candle right here because I already got its own. You guys see this this little candle right here that's moving and grooving right here on the right hand side, the furthest one to the right. Yep. Kind of going up now, beautiful. So let's just say that this. I put a buy stop, right? I said, hey, homie, if price, if the candle ever touches that. I want you to activate my trade. If it doesn't touch that, we're all good. It, it, I'm not going to lose anything. Don't worry about it. No harm, no foul. It's like nothing ever happened. But check this out. If it does touch that, I want you to start my trade. Cool. So guess what? It touched that. All right. Game on, baby. Now your trade is live. Cool. Now you see this candle? Boom. My take profit is right here. This is my take profit. I needed to pass right through that. And what I did was I had a trade that literally said, boom, activate, pew, take profit, gone. Right inside the flag. It's in and out, in and out. You guys get it? Please. So this is essentially foolproof in the sense that we can already expect the, like the shape of the flag to complete. So we know that the trend is gonna keep going that way and that it's gonna keep getting smaller. Now, what if the flag was like reversed what if like does the is the point of the flag ever going to be like on the left side of the screen does that make sense so are you, are you saying that is it going to be like is it going to go from skinny to big yeah no it's going to be flag oh I, I could i think it could i can't recall i'm seeing that but okay cool just like to be prepared yeah yeah i guess i guess i'll keep an eye out for it but um you know i'm not gonna say it's not possible right thank you mm -hmm. all right does any is anybody confused put a two in the chat if you're confused still please be honest i mean it's not like super evident to me there but mm -hmm. i think i'm understanding a bit sure so look at this right here right so you see these two lines right yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna this. I'm gonna switch color so that's that's my green Cool. I just like, and that's that color is okay. I'm, gonna... I'm always looking at people's charts, and it seems like I mean, I guess it's it's anything like comes with practice, right? But you guys just seem to just be beep beep boop boop, boop fib this not indicators beep beep boop, and I go on trading view, and I'm like, like I can't put any lines, I can't like do anything, I don't understand any of it. But I guess it'll just like maybe I need a one on one lesson and just how to put these things there and you know 
Sure. I feel that way too, Billy. You're not alone. Yeah, no, sure. definitely. Well, I mean, we'll, that, that's the whole point of these calls, so we can get practice. Like, if you guys yeah. feel like we need more practice on this and you guys want to keep doing it, then absolutely, you know, we'll keep running it and we can perfect this together. But you see this, right? Cool. So look at this, the yellow line. I said, activate my trade. So, so the tra it, the candles were down here. Never was not even up here, right? It said, activate my trade when it hits the yellow line. And when it hits the green line, take me out with take profit, right? Knowing what I know about the 618, it, it's going to, you know, I know where it's going to go. So I'm going to put it within these zones, right? There's, there's little zones right here within the 618. So what I want to do is uh, see that you see how it's inching right to my take profit. Please let it go past it. I'm walking out with money, right? If it hits that line, my literally in one candle, I took profit. Now the goal is to up up uh, to up the lot size, right? Use high lot sizes right? because these are short moves. So you use a high lot size, right? Maybe a 1.0, and it goes it activates and goes straight through it. And you get money because you know it's gonna hit that. You know what the flag pattern is gonna do, right? Now, if, it, if, it, if it's just shy right there, you know, just take, you know, take profit. Fuck it. You know, I would just take profit at that point. And anyway, take it. But do you guys see what I'm saying? What it's meant to do is it's supposed to go straight through into profit. No, no red, no nothing, no, no BSing, right? Just whew, because it's going up and down, up and down, up and down. So you can just put a whole bunch of like booby traps, pew, 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 and it goes pew, 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 right? Maybe that made more sense for some people. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got it, right? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it made sense to Fran, you know? Cool, awesome. So like the, the colors really help out. Uh huh. Let me let me erase this shit. And start from scratch, because I know I know it trips trips people out, right? I'm gonna show you guys how I got to that. Maybe uh, Barry, do you want you want you want to take a stab at it? You wanna you want to take control and, and give it a shot? Yeah, but don't hit me if I mess up. <laughs> I got you. I got you. That's the whole point of this stuff, man. Yeah. Let me uh. Here, ask for control, I think. Okay, let's see. Request remote control. Yeah. Request, okay. Okay, cool. Should be good. Okay, so, are you ready? Yeah. Walk us through it. All right, so the first thing that I would do is what you did there is I'm going to identify the flag. I'm going to do the flag in its own color. So would you have mm -hmm. the flag touching the top of that uh, wick right there? Yeah, just as clean. That's fine. Just as, as, as you can put it down. Yeah, you could. I mean, yeah, that's fine. It's okay if it kind of crosses through it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. There you go. There you go. You see how they're ascending and then these are descending? How it's just like, it just traps and it gets smaller. That closing door that I was talking about, right? That's and then I'm probably going to do the Fibonacci. Mm -hmm. Was that over here or I don't remember which one you clicked to get to the Fibonacci. Is this it? I think it's, you have the bars that, yeah, I think it's that one. Fibber trace. Right why isn't it popping up? Wasn't there supposed to be numbers? I'm yeah, that's confused. what I didn't understand either. I am confused. But it's like you can drag it. Like you click on yeah, it. Drag. drag it, but I don't understand like, like how exactly. Someone's lying to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think you need to click the candle and drag it up. Yeah. Off from the bottom candle and drag it up or down. Something like that. Yeah. There you go. 
Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, right, right. Okay. And then you My bad. Draw All right. Yeah. Is this? Yeah. Is that gonna work? Uh, Should I have done it differently? Oh wait, wait. If I can do it. Nice. All right. Here we go. Technologically challenged. That's the way. I would. Um. Do do the um. So do here. Exit off that one. So just uh, erase backspace. Cool. Um, there's here. I got start from here to this one right here because at that point you kind of already know that the flag is kind of there. So do it from down here to up here. From down here to up here. Correct. Okay. Yeah, it's because the, the flag is clear. You know, if, if it's happening. Right here. Yeah, from down there to, to the top of that green one, the top of where? Uh, yeah, right there. Whoa. And then you click to drop it. Ah. Did I close it too small or is that okay? Oh, uh, that's fine. Okay, cool. so then. So, uh, I'll put I'll put a, a halt right here, guys. Does everybody, is everybody caught up to speed? Does everybody know? Uh, what, what we did so far. So one, we identified the flag. Cool. Now we pulled out the Fibonacci because the Fibonacci does what? It gives you a basically a, a sure zone that it's going to drop to, right? The 618 zone. It gives you a sure zone where it's going to drop to. It's not 100%, but that's that's usually the uh, uh, 618 is is usually where, where it goes to. I'm, not, I'm never going to say it's 100%. No, no, of course. Not. Yeah, but six one eight, it it'll go to the six one eight Fibonacci retracement. That's that's what the whole point of it is. That's where you know it'll retrace to at least. Okay, so not because of market makers. Yeah, yeah, typically, yeah, uh, you know that it'll just it'll just go down to the six one eight. Cool. And market makers is applicable to crypto, forex stocks. I, I would just say when it comes to this, when it comes I would say this is a type of like this is a different type of what the market makers are doing. So like in a sense, it's not the market maker method that we we've been talking about for forex. This is like the way that the market makers are manipulating the crypto market, if that makes sense. So like barbarian, sir. So it's not the the market maker method that we were talking about with forex but this yep. is what the market makers are doing in the crypto market okay so like yes we are again learning the set rules of the crypto market so that we can trade in line with them okay okay so now we're pretending like these ones don't exist right because we're talking about these two candles right so these two candles stick right here Mm -hmm. Is that right, Ira? What? I don't know if you can see the. We're pretending like these ones down here don't exist we're, yet. Yeah, we're, we're pretending that those don't exist. I know that there's a way to do it, but. No worries. We can figure that out for next time. Okay, so then next, what we're doing is we are waiting for. Uh, this. Real quick, sorry to cut you off. I think okay. on top, you see where it says replay? Yeah. You should be able to click there. Uh, Try yeah, it somewhere on there. Try it out. Yeah, and then you should be able to like cut it out somehow. I guess drag to that middle to to where it starts, where it says replay. Hit replay. Okay, now drag it to the candlestick. To the. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. The green well, one. Yeah. Be challenging. Yeah, to like. Yeah, to the. So green drag one. it to the green one. A little more. Right. There you go. And just click again. Click. All right, guess not. Well, I guess not. Sorry. That's okay, good. so we'll just pretend like those ones aren't there. But the point is, next, we're, we have we know that we have this green candle right here in the wick, right? So what we're waiting for is the candle after that to close below it. Correct. And that is what's going to tell us to leverage the trade. So as long as this candlestick closes under the one right here at the top of the flag, right? That's when we leverage leverage the trade. So then this next part is where I'm not 100% on, but we're gonna start adding more lines. So just like bear with me here. We'll do some different colors and some artwork. Artwork by Barry. Hey, explain the lines. 
so here then we're, I, I put on my notes to put the cell stop. So the cell stop is going to go, the cell stop is what's gonna active or is gonna tell it to activate the tray, right? And we're gonna put that uh, like on top, like above the 618, Tyra? Your activation one? Uh, so, your, take, your take profit would be, you know, you could put like right slightly above the 618. Okay, so then what comes next? Like after we see that this closes under this candlestick, then we're going to do, we're going to put what line and where. That's where I'm confused. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the, uh, the price, the price line, the price ask. So when, when price, when, when the candle hits this, this, this price, activate my trade. So put that line. Gotcha. And at what, um, I guess, kind of what number are we looking at to put that here? Where the bottom wick of this candlestick is? Or see that again. So are we going to put that at the, the bottom of the wick of this candlestick? So, so yeah, so what you want to do is, all right, so let me, let me see this, this cursor right here. Cool. So this is, this is a little key right here. You see this huge fat just candle right there? Mm -hmm. You wanna keep it in between that candle. Oh, okay? the liquidity, okay. Don't, don't try to do it outside because price resisted at that outside. So that means that it's likely to resist again, right? But the sure one is any action right in between that candle. So what I would do is, okay, cool. Price closed right here. Beautiful. Now I have this zone right here, right? This Fibonacci zone and I have this Fibonacci zone to work with. So I have two zones right here. That's why they're lined out in zones. Boom. So I would put my price ask right here on at top of this zone. And then my take profit right here at the bottom of that zone. That makes sense because it's right in between the candle where the price was sure, you know, it was for sure, it was solid, right? Gotcha. So I would just put high lot size, activation line, take profit line. And then I'll tell you about the stop in, in a second. So go ahead, put the, uh, put the activation line. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I don't know if my internet is being weird. That was part, it might have been mine here. Here we go, we're good, we're back to it. Go for it, uh, request share. Is everybody getting this? I'm about to show you guys, and I'm about to place a live trade right now in a little bit and show you guys. Excuse me for the. Uh... There you go. Cool. So, Ira, you may lead trade in cryptos now. Sorry. Are you mainly trading the cryptos now, or are you still mainly? Like yeah. Sports? Because I mean, I'm, I'm in Mexico, man. It's hard to get up at three in the morning to uh, two in the morning to trade like G G U, you know? Okay. Yeah, I get it. You know, if I was back in the West coast then my trades would probably be more popping. <laughs> no, nah, I feel you. Hey, you're living the life. That's all that matters. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. You, did you look into uh, what I was talking about yesterday? Hive. It was up 24% today. So it's, that's the way to trade cryptos through stocks. So if you're interested in, in, if you like trading stocks, anybody that likes trading stocks, mm -hmm. but wants to, you can, you know, have symbiosis between stocks and crypto. You buy Hive, H-I-V-E, up 24% today. It goes up as crypto goes up because they have Ethereum, they mine Ethereum and, uh, and Bitcoin, it's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, drop some info on there on the chat. Yeah. Check it out. Awesome.
Beautiful. You think about my lines. Nice. I like it. <clears throat> Can anybody explain what's going on here? Maybe Casey or Tony, Fran, really? Can anybody explain what's going on? What did she just do? Because I'm about to go in live and show you guys how to do it right now. Well, those are lines for a sell stock, no? Correct. And then the take profit too, right? Exactly. Bam. That's it. So what the Fibonacci is telling you, it's going to, this is what the Fib's telling you, right? From down here, here, boom. It's telling you it's going to drop to the 618. And it did. It did drop to the 6, And it closed right underneath, like right on the 618, right? So what you want to do is you want to put the activation price somewhere up here, you know, as a, like right, under, right by, as high as possible, right by that candle that just closed. And then you want to put the take profit right before the 618 right? Because that, what that's going to do is it's going to activate price, whew, and then just profit all the way through, just straight through. No negative, no nothing, just boom, blue all the way through. Knowing that it's going to drop to the 618. You want to get it before, so when it, so you can get everything in between. That's a little margin, your little profit margin. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share a little something, something with you guys. Cool. All right, can you guys see my screen? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So I've been losing a lot of money. All right, I'll be straight up. <laughs> my trades suck. Whatever. <clears throat> Here's what I'm about to you do. Huh? No, dude, I had, like, I had like seven hundo, eight hundo, like about a week ago, and then fucking boy, she just disappeared. Um, maybe two weeks ago. Boom. All right, you guys see this, right? This is a clear, um, this is a clear, uh, fucking uh, flag. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna we're gonna place that trade, right? So I'm kind of just gonna go off a limb here. Um, I want to use the Fibonacci, but due to the purposes of this, me being on the phone and stuff like that, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit trade, right? So I'm trading Bitcoin. Awesome. And, and, and pay attention right here, guys, because this is how you execute it, okay? All right. So you see how it says market execution up top? I'm trading Bitcoin USD market execution. Cool. I'm not going to trade market execution, right? I think it's going to drop, so I'm going to put a sell stop. Not sure what a sell limit is. I just learned what a sell stop was today. Um, but cool. I'm going to put a sell stop because I think it's going to drop down, okay? So 0 0.01 lot. The price... I'm gonna have to write this down, uh, but look at that. You see the option says put your price, that's your activation price. When do you want it to activate? That's what you put, your stop loss and your take profit. Okay, cool. So let me, let me check it out real quick. Okay, cool, so boom, boom, boom. All right, I don't, I'm just gonna put a sell limit, right? So boom, I'm just gonna say it hits right here. Fibonacci retracement, I think it's probably just gonna drop to, Five one five zero. Oh. So I'm gonna write down uh, T. My TP is five one five zero. Okay. My activation price is probably is gonna be. Let's just say I'm trying to do the fib off my head. So I, I in my head I'm dragging it from up here to like an imaginary trend line right here, right? thinking it's gonna drop down like right here. So I put the, I put the take profit right here. I wanna probably put my price, let's see, somewhere right there. I'm just doing it off the top of my head, guys. Sorry for the informality. Um, I'm gonna need that candle to close. Let's see what that is. 10, okay, boom, it closed. 
right underneath. So boom. Okay, cool. It, it's fucking 10. Just closed. Mm -hmm. So um, five, two, three, four, Stop dropping food. See, it's moving down. That's that's what I wanted to catch. I wanted to catch that. So let's say five, two, two, five, oh. Five, two, two, five, oh. So five, two, two, five, oh, right? Place it, whatever, cool. And then my TP is uh you said five one five oh five one five oh awesome now my my uh um my stop loss would be five two one five oh my bad five two one five oh five Two one five zero. Okay, cool. You guys see these two lines, right? The green and the red. What I wanted to do is break through that and then hit, come out the other end, and all just straight profit. That's what I want, right? That's that's the idea. Uh, is it going to happen right now? Let's hope. But you know, because I just I'm just kind of winging it here. Uh, but I just want to see. Hope I just, I just wanted you guys to see it live. Um, my stop loss, right? If it activates here. And it reverses, right? My stop loss is obviously going to be up here. So let's just put, I don't know, I've got to put my stop loss away from the damn spread. Um, five, two, four hundred. That's probably the worst stop loss, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm still learning it. Five, two, four hundred, but um, five, two, just for the sake of the drill. to say five two five two the hell did it just take it off a uh, Okay, so it activated the trade. That's why it looks like that. Cool. So it activated the trade. Now it's it's on and popping, right? Cool. So ideally, what I want this to do is I'm on the five minute chart. Okay. What I want it to do is I want it to, if you can see the line is right here. That's the activation price. Obviously, you see a little, uh, you see a little, uh, It broke the activation price, right? The activation price is right here. You probably can't see the line, but it's right there. You see that little wick, so it obviously broke it. So that means it's game time, right? Now, check this out. It can still go all the way up this way and hit my stop loss, right? Definitely can. What I want it to do is Activated right here when I told it. I said, hey, homie, activated when it comes right here. I bet I activated, fool. And then now I just needed to come all the way straight through right there. Because according to the Fibonacci, if I got it from down here and up here, right, where the price closed and this closed right underneath it, it should come down and retrace down there to the 618. Am I making sense, guys? Put a one in chat if I make sense. Put a two if I lost you. That makes sense. Makes sense. Beautiful. Awesome. So, okay, beautiful. So right now it's moving. Cool. I'll show you guys a little bit of my, so I've been trading a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> Winning and losing, but I, I use very small lot sizes because I'm not familiar with crypto, right? So I've just kind of been like, been trading a lot, you know what I mean? Just smaller lot sizes. I, I, I hate losing huge, huge amounts, but kind of even, awesome. you know what I mean? I, 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 I put my work in, you know what I mean? That's for the week. Wow. Yep. Just, you know, I just don't talk, you know, I'm fucking about it here. Up here, you can see where I just, 
you know, it does suck to lose. Look, I won 160 bucks right there. Or no, it's almost, hey. hey, and then I lost 63. <laughs> you know, story of my life. Every time I up the lot size, you'll see it. I'm lose. And then boom, yay, I'm winning nine bucks. Ooh, I won 71, 70, Q, Q, awesome. Damn, 23 bucks. All right, cool. I mean, I'm losing a little bit, winning 20 bucks. You know what I mean? I have a winning account right now. Boom, I won 33 bucks. Hell yeah, 17. You know what I mean? I'm winning 69 bucks. Hell yeah, dog, let's go. Minus 20, and then guess what? Minus 248, minus 135, minus 51, minus 46. That's the shit that sucks. <laughs> right when I get the courage. You guys see this shit? I, I was doing good. You know, <laughs> that's how yours looks too, huh? See, I'd be winning, but then I'd be losing. When I lose, I lose. Uh, it sucks. I lost 300 bucks in that trade. 135, 51, 46, 7, 10. I'm like, damn, fool. So now I'm down to this like mini ass account. Yeah, minus 72 right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time I get the guts, it just backfires. Minus 32, minus 23. So that just, you know, I'd be trading, man. I'd be trading minus 187, minus 73, minus 222. <laughs> Let's go. I'm still smiling. That's all that matters. You know, you fall asleep when, you, when that happened or what? Huh? You fall asleep? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for That's real. what happens. Eh? Is it just you, you lose your eye on it, eh? Yep. So, I mean, I'd, I'd be winning. You know what I mean? I just wish those were higher lot sizes. You know, I win. You can look at it and you can tell that I win. There you go. That's my profit. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Five. Looks like mine. Negative 600 bucks, a solid month, right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you, Ira. Of course, of course. So cool. Um, I mean, this is this is really what I'm doing for this right here, guys. I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting. I'll, I'll probably give you guys a status report as it breaks through. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how you do it. So uh, you hit the trade, right? Cool. You know, for those for, for all you note takers, this is this is this is what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna go through it one more time. Um, awesome. You know, I got the fib retracement. Beautiful. I should be in profit. No, the fucking spread. So the spread is the only thing that's keeping me out of profit, right? Cool. So I hit trade. Okay. Instead of market execution, don't worry about buy limit and sell limit right now. Um, when it comes to this stuff, um, when it comes to the strategy we're talking about, just do buy, stop, and sell, stop. That's it. I mean, unless you guys know something I don't. All right. Um, so if you think it's going to go up, you hit buy, stop. If you think it's going to go down, sell, stop. So write that down. Buy, stop, sell, stop. You already know what the, the two do. We talked about it in this call. Right? So let's just say it's a sell, stop. Awesome. Now it gives you your options. You have price, stop loss, take profit. Now the price is your activation price. Like, hey, homie, when it hits this price, I want you to start it. Let's get down, right? Then the stop loss, and then the take profit, right? Take profit is right before the 618 Fibonacci. Before the 618. Cool. Now you can set an expiration date, right? So let's just say, hey, you know, it's been a cool minute, you know what I mean? Like charts kind of just up and out, you know, it's probably not even near the zone. I could set a date for it tomorrow by 5.20 a.m. If it's not popping, just take me out, just forget about it. So this is, this is kind of your friend, you know what I mean? That's how, that's, that's how a lot of people, you know, you know, if it hits certain zones, then that's how you're more certain. You know, Bitcoin, like if you're trading Dogecoin right now, right? I was, if you're on the Mr. Unemployables call, he says that when price hits about four cents, you know, that's the zone that people want to buy more. It has to hit that zone so people can buy more. Nobody's going to buy more until, you know, it goes on a retrace. Makes sense. Who wants to buy when it's up? So there's specific zones that are in play that most people think like, all right, cool. Once it hits the 
you know, it's at eight cents right now. Once it hits four cents, that is when we all buy again, right? So that's a zone that it drops. So people are like, all right, cool. If once it hits that zone, that's when you can expect it to spike back up. So in between that zone, until it gets to that zone, why not make money out of it, right? It's at an all time high. You're expecting it to drop to the four, four cents, right to the four cent mark, because that's the zone that most people are gonna buy at. That's the dip um, and, and look it up, look it up because there's the specific zones that people think. So if you can catch everything in between that high point in that zone, guess what? You're making money. What do you mean by cash everything in between? Like like shorting it? No, like literally, literally what we what we just did. Literally what we just did. So let's just say that Bitcoin right here hit an all time high, right? The Dogecoin, yeah. Just specific, or whichever, yeah. Yeah, or, or whatever, yeah. So maybe I'll go to the uh, the uh, four hour chart. Cool, right? You see how Bitcoin's at a high right now? Mm -hmm. So what experts say is that okay, cool. Um, what we needed to happen is we needed to drop to about 47, right? In order for people to start buying again. The market knows this too. Like, if, is everybody going to buy when it's that high? No, people are going to sell it when it's that high, which is going to cause the price to drop to a specific zone, right? And once it gets to a certain zone, you know, that's when it's, it's, it's profitable to jump back in, right? There's, there's that little zone right here. So you can, if you jump into Mr. Unemployable's calls, he'll tell you that. So there's, there's like a little zone in between 47 and 48, right? Or 40, 46 and 48. If it drops in between 46 and 48, that lets the public know it's time to buy again, right? But there's everything right in between, you know, on its way down to that, right? So before it's at 52, we might as well use the Fibonacci retracement, boom, boom, and then expecting that the drop price is going to drop down to that 618, you might as well catch everything right in between, right? So again, what do you mean by catch everything in between, though? Just exactly what we were talking about. Just, just uh, you know, just like a flag, right? You know, you, you're trying to catch everything in the middle between high point and low point. When you expect Bitcoin to drop down here, right? If it drops down to a certain point, you want to go ahead and just put a stop limit. I mean, a stop, a, 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 a sell stop. If it hits right here, right? If it's 618 retracement tells you it's going to keep dropping, you might as well fucking, if price hits that, boom, activate the trade and let it run through on its way to the zone, on its way down. Does that make sense or am I confusing everybody? No, it makes sense. It's just, we're going to have to do a couple classes on it for us to get like, you know, to get exactly. it done. All I'm saying is that if you know it's going to come down to the 48, right? Like just put a sell, sell, sell stop at the, at the 50 and then take profit at the 49 and then just let it ride straight through that, take profit. If you already know it's going to come down here, you might as well just make money on it. But if it doesn't come down here, right? No, no harm, no foul. You're not losing. It's like if you place a sell trade, you're committing to it, right? Let's just say you place a sell trade, right? And it goes up instead. Everybody's biggest fear. Oh, shit. Then you lost money. But if, you, if it goes down here, right? And, and then it, it starts hitting certain areas lower, right? and it activates down here, and you can expect it's gonna go down here more, right? Is you're, you're not risking anything. If it's already coming down here, it's gonna keep going down here. So <laughs> instead of placing a sell, you might as well just put a sell stop. Because if it's going down, it won't activate unless it goes down there anyways. If you hit a sell and it goes up, you're, you're losing money off the bat. But if you hit a sell stop and it goes up, you're not losing money. So our cushion is the activation price right here. That's what lowers our risk in this exact instance, right? Exactly. Beautiful. Just up your lot size. Fucking put maybe put like a 20 pip buffer in between that you just know you're gonna catch 20 pips. You do a fucking one point lot, that's 20 bucks or 200 bucks or you know, 20, 20 pips, 10 bucks a lot, that's 200 bucks.
because you know it's going to come down anyway. So me personally, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to hit uh, like a like a maybe like down here somewhere in between this candlestick, this candlestick right here. Um, I'm probably going to put like a sell stop right between here and here. Just just between these two grids right here, this and here at like that, knowing it's going to crease right through it. Right. A sell stop right here. That's it. If not, it's, it's low risk, low risk. The only risky part is if it comes down here and in halfway it decides to dip. According to the fib, it's supposed to come down here, right? That's the whole point of it. But, you know, if you just up your lot size and, and lessen, just maybe you just take it from here to here. It's less of a risk. Just up your lot size if you want to make more money. But guess what? You're not at risk because it, if it doesn't go there anyways, you're not losing. But if it does go there, then you can for sure expect it to blow through it. It's a higher percentage trade. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm here for it. Did, did I lose anybody? Uh, that's, you know, uh, not too much I want to go over in this call besides that. Oh, fucking, I lost, whatever. I get it now. So yeah, so you're trading BTC USD, then you'd, you'd be do you'd be putting a, mm -hmm. a buy stop. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, I lost that trade right here because the fucking spread dude the spread is against you man they widen up the spread so sometimes if you have a big ass spread like that then you got to put that stop loss all the way up here you know but you see how huge that spread is that that spread is wide open um but i still think it's gonna blow through it and hit it it's just, i just put my stop loss right there somewhere somewhere where I shouldn't have put it, I should have put it further out, but that spread widened up. I didn't know it was gonna widen up and it got me. Cool, um, I don't wanna talk you guys ear off, man. I know you guys got things to do, uh, but I really just wanted to go ahead and introduce this to you guys. So let's sharpen each other's skills, man. Let's, uh, let's practice this for anybody. I'm gonna be trading crypto in low lot sizes just until I start seeing consistent blue. I'm gonna use this method, uh, right? I'm gonna trade through the weekend and everything um, and, uh, that's about it, man. Tell me how it goes for you guys. Do you guys have any questions, any uh, comments, concerns, criticisms? Yeah. Here for it all. Yo, Ira, I was gonna ask you, what broker are you trading on for crypto? I got prosperity, but I feel like I should get something better. Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, like you, that at least has a um, an option for crypto. What's this uh, this new broker that we're supposed to be getting for the uh, EA? I, mean, I haven't looked into like FX, FX Pro or something like that. Yeah. FX Premise. Yeah. I, I'm gonna find out more information. I, I know about it as much as, as as much as you do. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Get ready for that that EA the bot. Cool. All right, guys. Well, um, thank you guys for, uh, for for jumping on tonight's call. We're building momentum. You guys are the ones that are growing. Absolutely. Uh, don't be afraid to, uh, you know, to invite people to the business, guys. Um, you're, they're going to get value from it. They're, just simply put, do not be afraid to bring people to this business. Introduce it to them. Put me on a three-way call. I'll be more than happy to break it down for them. Uh, but, you know, let's, let, let's get some people underneath you so you can grow as well. Absolutely, it's a huge game changer. It's a huge game changer when you have people underneath you. So uh, that's about it, guys. I'm not gonna uh, stretch the call. You guys have a good night, all right? Thank you so much, Ira, you're the best. Peace out. Thank you. Good night, guys. 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 Good night, guys.